Hi, my name is Ben Noonan. As you may have already noticed, it's difficult to find the right table for your new home or club. With the lack of information on the internet, we've decided to do a short clip to explain to you why and how to buy a table. We'll go through all the different table designs as far as modern and traditional to eccentric retro tables and look at the cloth, the difference in cloth and, and cushions to, to your cheaper table or to your more expensive table. The difference in slate, it's very, very important when purchasing a table to find out whether you, the slate is, is, is slate based, sorry, not MDNF based. Slate is not affected by moisture or temperature, where, whereas MDNF is the opposite. We'll go through pocket size, we'll go through templates of pockets that which the professionals use. And just, just generally all around explain to you why, what the best way to shop for a pool table is. What we're going to cover here is three of the most important implements or elements of a pool table. Uh, one of them being the cushion and performance. Second one being the cloth. Uh, many different cloths can be put on a pool table and probably the most important thing in my eyes to a table and its performance. And also the pocket size and, and the templates that are, that are needed, Australian template standard needed uh, when purchasing a table. Okay, now the first thing we're going to cover uh, is the cushion performance. All right, now, as you may have seen or done yourself, a lot of players um, use, use their hand to, to look at uh, how bouncy the cushions are. Okay, I'll just explain quickly. Basically, they run the, run the ball up and down the table uh, a few times to see how many legs they can get. All right. This isn't this isn't a designed way to find out whether your whether your cushions are bouncy enough. All right. Main reason being because you you throw it, you can throw it harder and softer depending on which time you do it. All right. Now, what we've actually do it's a, it's a new device, fantastic idea. Uh, it's called the cushion bounce test ramp. All right. Now, just to explain quickly, we, we're using a seven foot table here, so we'll use the seven seven foot uh, explanation. Is, is we put the ramp up on the on the uh, ball cream cushion, okay, and just roll the roll the ball down the ramp to find out whether it's poor, good, or excellent. Okay, now as you can see on here, it rolls down to the back cushion, and poor is about you know a foot from the from the center pocket, which means that you're probably going to need to get new rubbers. All right, good is just a little bit further up, maybe a foot further up uh, over over the center pocket. And then you've got excellent, which is up near the ball line and over. This is a this is a great great way to judge whether your cushions are in the right condition. Okay, now we're going to use the ramp and just see if this uh, table's up to scratch. Okay, so you just put your finger there in front of the ball and just roll it down as is. This table's on the better side of good. Okay, in the forty-five percent range but on the high side of the 45%. So yeah, as I said, that the, uh, the ramp's a really good judge of, uh, of cushions and, and uh, the quality of them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through um, pocket size of tables and the templates needed for a high performance table. Uh, there's a lot of talk about this topic. A lot of players um, tend to just use, and people that go into a table, uh, to, to buy a table, tend to just grab a ball out of the rack, put it on the cushion, and just run the run the ball along and, and decide then whether the pockets are quite big or not. Okay? There is an Australian standard of template that is used, which I'll go through in a second, uh, which every manufacturer should be using uh, for, for, their, for their tables. So it's a simple thing of just asking them when you, when you get there and asking whether they use Australian standard templates and even get them to show you if, if you need to. Okay, so this is what they look like. These are the templates here. Okay, now if you want to have a quick look, what we actually do, this is the quarter pocket one, what we actually do is um, is a groove in here, okay, and that's for, the, that's for the cushion here before it goes down on a slant, alright, that's the top of the rubber, that's where the ball contacts, and this is what this part is here for. Okay, now all we do, and the way the pockets are designed, is you just grab the template and pop it in the pocket like that, okay. That's perfectly curved on, on each side. Same on there. And you can go around to each corner pocket and check each one. What a lot of players do as well when they're, when they're trying to check pocket size is they just put their fist in 
and work out from there how many knuckles they've got in there, how much of their fists they've got in there, and decide then on, on what sort of pocket size it is, which is not the way to do it. Okay. Um, I'll just show you the middle pocket one as well. Okay, so we've got the different design, obviously different shape, the middle pocket. So that's the template there, and that just fits perfectly in the in the groove and in the cushions there. Okay, that's what that's what a table, that's what pockets should be based on, the Australian standard. And uh, yeah, the only real way to decide whether they're the right pocket size for you. Okay, now the most, in my opinion, the most important part of a table, uh, which is the cloth. Okay. What you'll find is um, competition players notice it a lot, a lot more often than, than your uh, standard pub player. Um, but it really is the most important, important part of the table. Most home tables, what you'll find is they, they, try, they go for the cheaper option and, the, and they'll buy a table out of a factory that is really thick and can get knots in it really quickly. And if you've ever noticed at home or at someone else's house, it fluffs up very, very fast. Okay, it doesn't have to be played on very often, just the moisture gets to the air and it just fluffs right up. It ends up being tough to play on, you just have to recloth it more often and more often and it just gets more expensive, believe it or not. So, uh, the best cloth to buy and the, and the best cloth used worldwide at, at uh, snooker tournaments, and not only, not only pool tournaments but snooker tournaments, is the Strawn 6811. Okay, it's what, it's what we use at every tournament in Australia. Um, would recommend it to anyone because it does have a, a longer lifespan as well as being nice and quick. It's, it's almost like a glass finish once once recloth. Um, yeah, it takes it takes a long time to wear out and is is the standard uh, for Australian pool and, and worldwide pool. Okay, thanks for watching this uh, small clip, guys. Um, I hope in some way we've we've provided the information uh, to help you purchase a new pool table. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.